So hi everyone to our next um, collaboration. It's all about Lebanese uh, cuisine. Uh, and first of all, please go into the video description and see all my wonderful cooking colleagues uh, that are contributing uh, today as well with their uh, dishes about Lebanese uh, cuisine and please support them as you might support me. So I have chosen uh, hummus bil lachme and uh, it's quite easy to make but with an impressive, uh, flavorful result. But I had uh, to make uh, some decisions first. First of all, hummus, as we all know, there are dozens of approaches if you Google it. So uh, I um, uh, have chosen my own approach to hummus. It's not necessarily the origin uh, one, uh, but what is origin uh, when you have already dozens of uh, approaches when, when you make uh, some research. Uh, second, Belachme. I found recipes with beef with lamb, with minced meat, meat and so on. So uh, there I made the decision to, uh, to take lamb meat, not minced uh, ground uh, um, meat. Uh, and uh, in my opinion, the result is just extraordinary uh, in a positive way. Uh, so let's uh, see how I have cooked this um, and uh, what was the result. Have fun watching the video and see you later. So these are chickpeas. Uh, make sure you get around about 400 up to 500 gram uh, of that. Then tahini, a little bit of Greek uh, yogurt, uh, and that was a bio lemon um, I was holding into the camera. And first of all, we pull off uh, the skin of this uh, lemon. Uh, and combine it with a little bit of olive oil and this will be on the dish on the very latest moment when we prepare uh, the dish on the plate. So this is for later. Then we start with the hummus. Uh, we give um, three or four tablespoons um, tahini. Uh, in the mixer and then um, a little bit uh, more than uh, yeah, no the, the whole the whole uh, lemon juice uh, into um, into the mixer then uh, one or two um, garlic uh, pieces and then we start uh, the processing the mixing here I add a little bit of Greek yogurt it makes it more finely and uh, creamy. Uh, then we add a little, little of salt and this is cumin. So nothing else uh, from, from a spice uh, perspective. Then we added a little bit of olive oil, might be two or three uh, tablespoons. And then uh, we added the chickpeas. And now we mix it up uh, until it gets creamy. Uh, um, and, and well mixed uh, texture. Uh, at the end you could see I even added a little bit of cold water. Not much but that helped also to get the creaminess into it. And then you just put it aside and wait until uh, you serve the whole dish. So this is a tenderloin of lamb. Very nice meat and I slice it in little pieces as you can see and then I add some spices salt a little bit of pepper and then the major spice uh, mixture is Ras El Anout it's, uh, it's okay it's Morocco, Morocco uh, spiciness but uh, I found that this is a perfect match for this oriental Lebanese uh, dish you can choose any other kind of mixture uh, then I put a little bit of uh, sesame oil, as you could see, and then you mix the meat just up and uh, wait until it's ready to go into uh, the pan. These are pine, 
seeds and uh, you just roast them a little bit dry in a pan uh, until they get a little bit of color make sure that they don't burn uh, and then you put it also aside this is all for uh, the serving at the end of this video this is cilantro fresh cilantro just a few leaves uh, then uh, we slice it into small uh, pieces and set it uh, aside as well for the serving uh, later when everything uh, is ready. So it's, just, it's a lot of preparing fresh uh, stuff. This is uh, the hummus, it looks beautiful, very creamy. And these are pomegranate seeds, fresh ones, not dried or something like this. Uh, this is also for serving later on on the plate and we are nearly ready already. So this is a lamb in olive oil. You um, uh, um, sizzle it uh, in, in a pan from both uh, sides so that it uh, gets uh, a nice color. Uh, and tenderloin of lamb is allowed to be uh, not cooked through, so it's up to you how to how you choose um, um, the end state uh, of the meat. I have chosen it um, medium, uh, so that it, it's not cooked through. So it's just about two or three minutes, and then the meat is all uh, ready. And that's it. The dish is ready to serve. Now we go outside because it was a wonderful day. Then you put a lot of uh, hummus on the plate, like a carpet layer, uh, so to speak. Then you add uh, the meat with all the spices on it. Um, it's a beautiful mixture in the end. It's so, um, it was so full of taste. Then you put uh, the pine. Then the pomegranate seeds and then uh, you uh, give a little bit of the cilantro over it and now this uh, oil with um, the, the skin of the lemon and this is it and make sure you have everything on your uh, on um, uh, yeah, like you see here and then you have the most possible um, uh, explosion in your mouth of all the flavors. So, thank you for watching. So, let's see. All on one spoon. Wonderful. A wonderful combination. Everything fits together and makes a very great um, tasty experience. Thank you for this topic. <laughs>